Hey everyone, it's Button I'm back with another stuff. Today is Tuesday, August 17th, and it's the morning time. It's literally exactly 6 a.m. Central Time, right at this exact second. I hope you guys are doing well. Whew. And I'm coming to you guys, second day of the week. Let's keep grinding. I've actually got a good amount of information. I mean, not a ton, but I've got spreadsheet. There's actually a decent bit of Reddit's, Omi's price, wrote down some nfts and i actually wrote down what like 10 12 here uh so i got a pretty good amount to go over today i hope you guys are excited um hope you guys are just excited to keep this week rolling man we've got hopefully we'll have a drop on I'm, I'm thinking they're just switching up the drops to saturdays let's start off with that right off the bat do you guys think that the drop day is just saturday now and not thursday what are your guys thoughts i'd love to hear from you guys down below i i mean they may have addressed this in um an ama or something like that but i would love to know um is saturday the new drop day has anybody heard anything about that is that what you guys are assuming um i'd love to know what your guys thoughts are um with that being said, I'm pumped up for the next drop. Let's keep going. Um, I had a great weekend this past weekend watching um, some preseason football. Very not exciting to some people. If you're if you're like me and you're betting, it's very exciting. So I, I was pumped up. Um, with that being said, whew, let's pop into some normal stuff, guys. Spreadsheet's going to be linked in the description down below. If you need to know the price of any VB NFTs, you're going to want to go to the link in the description down below. You're looking for column I. It's the column where the numbers are slightly larger. It's also the column where that just says 815. I've also got a ton of other data on here. Low mintage NFTs page. Portfolio calculator for days. Let's go! All right, guys. Let's pop into Reddit. First, we got a post from our homie Jinferno saying, How to guide for human resources. And we got the Necronomicon. Shout out to our homie, Jinferno3. Let's go! Next, we got Foxen saying, One choice, Risso Batman or SR Spider-Man. Which do you choose? Hmm. That's a tough one, man. That's a tough one. I'm not going to lie to you. That's a tough one. I might go Risso. I might go Risso. Um, looks like Risso has a slight edge. A lot of people for the Secret Rare Spider-Man. I wouldn't blame you either. Um, Secret Rare Spider-Man has the rarity on its side. has a lot of things on its side. It's animated, stuff like that. Risso has a couple things on its side too. It's Series 1, the first series. It's Ultra Rare first. Ultra Rare. Um, I don't know. They, they've got their things. To make concern, I've decided to auction off my Jill and Mar Charlie Quinn. Shout out to our homie Logical Bets. This auction is going to be ending. I don't know. I think this is when it's ending. Thursday? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Next, we got Random Collect saying, looking to buy collectibles. Bought some gems. I've been hooked for the past 24 hours. Wondering if anybody has anything they're selling at the moment. Looking to knock out some smaller items. Um, I mean, you you want to make sure you're checking out the marketplace on the application, my homie. Next, we got a post from Gullible Strings. Eight golden luckies and eight hunters were part of this giveaway. The draw was supposed to be on Saturday. But there was no update on this. Uh-oh. I have no idea what's going on, though, man. I, I'm just a normal guy. Sorry, dude. Next. Okay, I saw this post, and I clicked on it immediately. Um, next, we got a post from Illustrious Ad 3182. Now, Illustrious Ad, I don't know if you watch my videos, but it says here you're looking for Burning Shadows or Evolution Booster Box. I don't know if you're after a Charizard or what. I mean, you're probably not going to find many people that are interested in that. And to be honest with you, I mean, like, probably not going to find many people that are willing to trade you $1,600 worth of Pokemon cards. With that being said, I actually do have both Burning Shadows and Evolutions. What I don't have is booster boxes. Uh, maybe if you reach out to me, maybe me and you can work out some kind of deal. Okay. Oh, heavens, I forgot to talk about the NFTs today, guys. Wait, 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 wait. Pause, pause, pause. Five minutes in. We're going back in time, guys. We're going back in time. We're going back to the spreadsheet. All right, guys. Let's talk about it. Um, I forgot to mention I had some NFTs written down. Sorry about that, guys. 
Um, a lot of movers to the downside, though. So to be honest with you, a lot of this is going to be to the downside. There's like maybe one or two to the upside. First NFT is going to be Todd McFarlane on the spreadsheet at 550, currently going for 505 for a $45 loss. Next NFT is also a loss, which is going to be Carmine Infantino Robbins on the spreadsheet at 679, currently going for 638. Next NFT is also a loss, which is going to be Amanda Connor Batman on the spreadsheet at 524, currently going for 488. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen Amanda Connor Batman this cheap before. Next, we've got Gary Frank Batman, which is on the spreadsheet at $74, currently going for $60, guys. Huge move to the downside for all those NFTs. We do have one NFT moving to the upside, which is going to be Babs Tarts on the spreadsheet at 240, currently going for 272. We've also got another NFT that's moving to the upside here, which is going to be Big Barda on the spreadsheet at 700, currently going for 729. Um, $29 move to the upside. Next, we've got Uncommon Dragon Girl um, right here. It's on the spreadsheet at 120, currently going for 110, so dropping 10 more dollars. Uncommon Dragon Girl is a very interesting case study, guys. We may come back and revisit this one, but Uncommon Dragon Girl is an NFT that went through a buyout and the buyout pumped the price for a long time. We're still kind of like, the price is still kind of settling from that buyout. But I mean, that buyout was like weeks ago at this point. Interesting case study. Next NFT I want to talk about is going to be Supergirl. Got it on the spreadsheet at 264, currently going for 245. Uh, almost a $20 move to the downside there. Next, we got another NFT going up, actually, which is going to be the Pride Poster. Currently on the spreadsheet at $1,239. Currently going on the app for $1,350 for a gain of $110. Wow. Uh, next NFT um, is going to be um, NFT moving to the downside, which is going to be Secret Rare Spider-Man on the spreadsheet at $1,999. Currently going for $1,750. This thing lost like $200 in value. Um, and last but not least, the NFT we got to shout out is going to be a Red Skull. This thing is just going up even more. Um, I shouted out yesterday. I don't remember what I shouted out for yesterday. It's on the spreadsheet at 120. It's currently going for 136, which is I know is higher than the spreadsheet price, and I know it's higher than the price I said yesterday. So we're going to shout out Red Skull again. Let's go. All right, guys. Back to Reddit. That's all we've got for the, the prices, though, guys.